We are going to take our analysis further by looking at time intelligence calculations. So with all the measures that we have added here, we are going to compare them to the previous period. So we are going to use time intelligence calculations, which will enable us to compare the performance for each of the KPIs here against the same performance last year. So I'm going to click on the ellipsis and create a new measure. So we are going to calculate the total sales or the total revenue last year. So I'm going to call the sales amount last year. So I will use LY for last year. And here we are going to use calculate, which is one of the functions that we have in DAX. Now calculate helps you to modify a filter context. So here, the analysis that we are going to do, we want to take the source amount back by one year. Now to be able to do this, we need a function which is going to override or modify the filter context and calculate the source for the previous year. So what I'm going to do is to type calculate. Now, what we need to do is to provide the expression. So here we are looking at the value that we want to calculate. So looking at this measure, we are looking at the source amount for last year. So the expression is going to be the source amount. Now we already have a measure which is calculating the source amount. So we are going to use it here. So I'll bring my open square bracket and pick the source amount. Now within the calculate function, we have the option to add filters to the calculation and this will help you to modify the filter context. So here the filter that we are going to provide is to generate a series of dates that will go back by one year. So we are going to use date add, which is one of the time intelligence functions that helps you to perform analysis relating to previous periods. So I'm going to bring date add. Now, if you read the description, it says it moves the given set of dates by a specified interval. Now, the first input that we need to provide is the date. So we are going to use the date column in our date table. So we have it here as an option. So I'm going to pick it. Then I'll bring comma. Then we have number of intervals. So with this date, how do you want to move it? Do you want to move it forward or backwards? If you want to move it forward, we have to use positive number. If you want to move it backwards, we have to use negative number. Now here, we want to take this calculation back by one year. So I'm going to use minus. Then you also have to specify the number of interval. So do you want to move it back by two years, by three years, four years, or five years? Or do you want to move it forward by one year, three years, or five years? So with this expression, we want it to move back by one year. So I'm going to use minus one. Then I'll bring my comma. Now, how do you want to move it? Do you want to move it by day, by month, by quarter or by year? So here we want to move it back by one year. So I'm going to pick year. Then I'm going to close the calculate function. So what we are doing here is very simple. We want to calculate the source amount, but we don't want to calculate the source amount for the current period. We want to calculate it by taking the calculation back by one year. So you'll be able to calculate the source amount for the previous year. So I'm going to press enter. Now I'm going to format this. Now let's test this. So I'm going to create a very simple table. So we are going to add the year. So we go to our date table and I'm going to pick the year. Then I'll go to my analysis table and I'm going to pick sales for last year. I'm also going to add the sales amount. So let's click on this and I'm going to pick don't summarize. We should have changed this under the data view, but we are going to maintain it and then go ahead and explain what we are looking at. So I'm going to bring the sales amount here. So if you take a look at this, for each of the years, we have the source amount. But when you look at the source amount for last year, you see that the calculation is taking everything back by one year. So if you take a look at 2013, we don't have anything here because based on the data that we have, we don't have source for 2012. 
But if you take a look at 2014, you see that the amount which has been retained by this measure is the sales amount for 2018. So even though the contest that we have here is 2014, because in the calculate, we specify that we want to take the calculation back by one year, this is going to modify the filter contest and calculate the sales for 2013. So the 26 million that you are seeing here is the sales amount for 2013. So depending on the year that we have, this will take the calculation back by one year and calculate the sales amount. Now in the next video, we are going to use the same principle and create the measures for the other KPIs that we have in our data model.